Today marks 100 years of the U.S. Postal Service's airmail service, and while USPS celebrates its history, we're taking a look at its future. The Postal Service has faced challenges for decades, including a major loss of revenue. So this morning we're asking you, do you think the Postal Service will survive? You can vote right now in our live interactive poll online. Just go to WXYZ.com slash vote to weigh in. Right now the yes votes say are winning out with 64%. In the meantime, 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith is live in Brighton this morning to tell us more about today's anniversary. Matthew? Okay, we're talking about a historic day. 100 years ago, the air mail service for the USPS was started. You, know, you take a look at the building behind me and you think there's a lot of history when you talk about the post office, but military men and women taking the sky 100 years ago, 1918 to start off what we now know as air mail service. And now we're using this opportunity to take a look forward. Is there another 100 years left of the post office? Always changing, always innovating. What do you think of the U.S. Postal Service? You like we think of your ground mail. It's very convenient. As we speak, just keep using it right now, and then when things change, we just change with it. But today marks 100 years of air mail, though even customers who use them ask, can the post office stick around? Uh, right now, the Postal Service is being reviewed by a task force created by the president. He himself has called it future unsustainable, and they lost $1.3 billion just this last quarter. And while blame has been put on Amazon for the cost, the reality is... You've got mail. The advent of email signaled a gigantic drop in mail years ago. But the cost to ship packages is a real issue moving forward. Just one day ago, we discussed the increased cost for trucking companies, a shortage of drivers. Package delivery is facing that same pinch here. Truckers now ship less weight to deliver direct to door. And the name Amazon is so big that the mere mention by the Wall Street Journal that they were considering a service to rival USPS and others sent stocks of both UPS and FedEx down in the days following just back in February. So what happens next? Well, the stamps sell. We keep shipping our mail and packages continue to go. But the question is, if Amazon does create their own service, how does that affect the USPS, UPS and FedEx? We won't really know until it goes into place, but the reality is how we do business, how all of us send our mail could change in the coming years and decades ahead. For now, we're live in Brighton. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News. All right, thank you very much, Matthew.